สวัสดีครับนั่งดีๆนั่งดีๆสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับคุณ Good morning everyone Today we're going to do a science lesson. Need our science textbook. Science textbook. And we'll do page number seventy. Page number seventy. We're going to do an experiment about ability. But first, we'll go over our materials and we'll look at the properties, and then we'll do an experiment. Okay, we can start. All right, so. Let's go over our materials first, just to remember what they are. Here we go. So we've got materials. Let's look at some common materials. We're going to look at seven. First one is wood. Wood. It's a natural material. W w wood. So here are some chopping blocks made of wood, but there are lots of things made from wood. Wood is fairly strong. We've got wooden floors, walls, walls are made from wood, wood, and other reasons we use wood is wood also Float. float floats on the water so we can float out of the next material is glass. glass why do we use glass what's good about glass we can see through it, can't we? We can see through. That's why we have windows made of glass, so we can see what's outside. Glass is transparent, it means we can see through it. But it's not very flexible, it's very rigid. It's easy to break. Glass is not flexible. It's rigid. Two good things about that we use for glass are our eyeglasses because we can light bulbs so that the light can come out. We can use it to light up our rooms because glass is transparent. Transparent. Can see through, see through, transparent. The next material is rubber. R U B B E R. Rub, uh, rubber, like bands or elastic bands or balloons. Rubber is very flexible and it's also elastic. It will stretch back to its same shape. Rubber is very elastic. And the other property about rubber is it's waterproof. 
down the rain won't go into us the water what's the other thing we see rubber on all our tires on our bicycle tires and our car tires and our motorbike tires are all made from rubber because rubber is strong but it's also Flexible. That's our experiment today. Is about flexible. Next is metal. Metal. So here's some nuts and some bolts. Metal. Metal is very strong. A coin made from metal. And tracks trains run on because metal is so hard and strong. That's what we need for a big heavy train. So train tracks are metal. Yes, the more things made of metal, cars are cars. All the panels are made from metal, and there's the wheels but holding the rubber on the car is metal. And our soda cans, they're also metal. What are our clothes made of? It's made from fabric, F A B. Fab, R-I-C, Rick, fabric. Fabric is light and flexible. And lots of colors. We use it for our clothes because we can't see through it. So we can't see what's under our clothes. That's why we have their clothes. Fabric is light and Opaque. Fabric is light, light, easy to lift up, and it's flexible. Flexible. We'll see how flexible it is. This sail is made from fabric, and our bed sheet. And our pillows and our mats, they're all made from Next material is, what's this material? Does anyone know? It's a plastic. It's plastic. Made from plastic. Because it's also light, very colorful, but plastic can be opaque or colorful, or like this water cup, it can be transparent as well. We can see through it and see what's behind it. And it's also good because it can flow on the water. Doesn't see it floats. Last one we can look at is stone or rock. So this wall is made from stone, and the tool that's made from stone and rock. And we use stone and rock because it's very hard. It's very hard. And strong. Okay. So there are seven materials our wood, glass, rubber, which is flexible, metal, fabric, that's flexible as well, plastic, plastic is flexible. And 
materials. Now let's have a look at the properties again. ไอ้หมอยกวางตัวแต่ละก็บอกหน้าหน้าอ่ะอ่ะอ่ะอ่ะอ่ะอ่ะอ่ะอ่ะอ่ะอ่ะอ่ะอ่ะอ่ะอ
Weak and strong. Flexible or rigid. Last one. Waterproof or absorbent. Absorbent. Are the words to Oh, they're the properties. And so now if we can get out our science textbook, and we're going to do page number seven. <laughs> After we watch our experiment, okay? Let's watch our experiment and then we'll fill in our textbook. Ooh. Here we go. Page number seventy. But we'll go through it after the video. Okay. Watch the video first. And then we'll fill it up together. ตัวเองก็ต้องทําอะไรก็ต้องทําอะไรก็ต้องทําอะไรก็ต้องทําอะไรก็ต้องทําอะไรก็ต้องทําอะไรก็ต้องทําอะไรก็ต้องทําอะ
นี่ยตรงนี้ยากไปสื่อขนมมันกับที่ตอนด้วยSo, didn't bend. No, didn't bend, but it broke. Yes, it broke. Snapped. It didn't bend. So it's not flexible. It's rigid, 
but it didn't break. It stayed the same. The plastic ruler. It did bend, didn't it? It did bend. It was flexible. Flexible. And it didn't break. Because it was flexible. It's easy to bend. Like our clothes, they move. It's flexible. And it didn't break. Rubber duck was flexible. The bend. And it break. And the last one, we didn't see the stone. But do you think you can bend a stone? No, it's not flexible. No. And would it break? No. Because stone is hard and strong. So, which materials are flexible? Why do you say so? So, which are all the ones that bend? Our plastic, our fabric, and the rubber. Write those in. Plastic. The fabric. And the last one that was flexible was the rubber duck. And it's made of rubber. R U B B. A uh, rubber. What is your name? Say it Say bent. Bent. So what did we learn from doing this experiment? I think we could say that flexible materials can bend. So flexible flex L of the X flex I B L E flexible materials. That's what we're looking at. M A T E R I A L. Flexible materials and bend. Oh, no. Or maybe you can think of something else that we learned from it. But that's, we can say that our plastic, our fabric, and our rubber are all flexible and they can bend, yes, and they don't break. So there we are. So if you copy these down and next time we're going to do a science lesson, we'll see if things can float or if they stink.
So if you haven't copied all these down, we'll send you the video and you can watch them. You can watch it again later and copy them down. Otherwise, just get all the, the hints like rubber, rubber, plastic, plastic, metal, metal. And that's going to be our science today. So thank you for joining me and a math lesson video for you for this afternoon. So bye oh. from me and bye from Teacher John Poo. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you again. Bye, Kautang. See you, Posh. Bye again. Bye, everyone else. See you soon. Bye. Bye.